The shadow of a vertical tower is 30 meters long when the angle of elevation of the sun is 32.1 degrees. Find the height of the tower. Let's go ahead and carefully work through this solution. We'll start by drawing the sun uh, over here. So here is a very bright sun. <laughs> and let's go ahead and draw a triangle. So I'm just going to come this way here like this. Okay, and then we'll draw a little triangle here. And basically the sun is shining on the vertical tower. So let's go ahead and draw uh, the vertical tower here. So here's our vertical tower. This orange line can represent our vertical tower. Okay, and um, the shadow of the vertical tower is 30 meters long. So the shadow, I'm going to draw that in red, will be down here because the sun is shining on um, the tower and the tower casts a shadow on the ground, which is indicated here in red. And we're told that that shadow is 30 meters long. So this is 30. And we're also told that all of this is happening when the angle of elevation of the sun is 32.1 degrees. So I'm going to indicate that here. So this is the angle of elevation of the sun and it's 32.1 degrees. Okay, find the height of the tower. So we have to find the height of this orange tower. We can just give it a name. It doesn't matter what we call it. Um, because it's a height, uh, I'm going to call it H. So let's just call it H. And so now we have to think about uh, what trig functions we can use. So there's an ancient proverb. Uh, it's so ka koa. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Uh, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is opposite over adjacent. So we have h, which is the opposite. It's opposite the angle, and the adjacent is 30. So uh, we should probably use tangent. So the tangent of 32.1 degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent. So it'll be h divided by 30. Okay, so tangent of our theta, which is 32.1, it's opposite over adjacent, opposite over adjacent. And all we have to do here is solve for h. So pretty easy. We can multiply both sides by 30. These cancel, so we get h is equal to 30 times the tangent of 32.1 degrees. And you do want to use um, a calculator for this, right? And you want to make sure it's in degrees. Um, I have not done this problem, so I'm just going to type it into my calculator, 30 times the tangent of 32.1. And uh, rounded to one decimal, I get 18.8, .8, roughly 18.8. .8. And let's see, were there units given? Yeah, meters. So meters, let's put an M here. And so that would be the height of the tower.